All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, right now, we're going to hook up the battery equalizer, and I'm going to walk you through that process, and we're going to get started on the basic testing of our system, uh, and I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process and show you just how easy this thing is. It's not very expensive, and it will save you a ton of headache. Um, and personally, I like the idea of having one of these on regular lead acid as well as lithium, so I will probably be investing in more of these and running them on all of my battery banks um, that are lead acid or, or um, lithium iron phosphate or anything where it would work like this that uh, doesn't already have a, a BMS like the lithium ion pouches here. Uh, I will eventually have a BMS on those, so I might not worry about an equalizer on that. We'll have to see how I set them up and what we're going to do. There's a lot of undetermined on those. But uh, going forward, uh, you will probably always see one of these equalizers. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's really simple. In case you'd noticed in the last video, I had um, a lot of fuel cans down here. And this is, again, still being changed every day. So uh, I'm just showing you what I've got here. Cleaned up any and all combustibles from the area because obviously gas fumes and sparks do not go together that's not what we want to play with here so um, we've got our equalizer here we've got our two batteries here our jumper and then we're gonna run uh, positive here and negative here on this battery bank right here on the instructions it's super simple and it gives you a little diagram explaining how to set these up uh, this would be uh, figure one is a 24 volt battery with a bank of two batteries. This figure two is 24 volt battery bank of four batteries. And then figure three is 36 volt battery bank. And then figure four is 48 volt battery bank, which I don't know that you, that would be the best way to do this. Um, but it can be done and that's good to know. I didn't realize you could do that. Uh, the reason I say, I don't know if this is the best way is because if I remember correctly, Ian over at Watts 24-7 here also has 48 volt um, battery equalizers and um, that's probably going to be a better overall setup for you than using three of these 24 volt ones. But I mean, teach his own, whatever works for you. Let's go uh, installation. It uh, basically says to please connect the battery equalizer to battery as follows. Uh, and to check the pictures uh, to see which one fits your needs. So step one is we are going to connect the red cable to battery positive pole. The black cable is going to go to the negative and then the white one will be our last one and that's going to go to the negative pole or battery A position pole um, or the common rather between battery A and B. So that will just connect our, our red's going to be our positive, that's going to go here, and then black is the next one, that's going to be our negative, so that's going to go on here on this battery, and then white is going to go at the common connection between battery A uh, negative and battery B positive. Bear with me, and we'll go ahead and get this set up. So what I've, again, temporary, uh, for now this equalizer sandwiches nicely in here and all three wires reach all positions. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and run this temporarily until we get a better setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and start hooking this up and I'll show you my progress. This is step one, but before we even uh, go into that, I just kinda wanted to touch base on something real quick. You always want to think of safety first in everything you're doing. And right here, I'm sure I will get comments on it uh, but again it's a temporary situation uh, this is a metal shelf now this is cardboard and everything else around these batteries is cardboard except for this shelf well there's not likely anything that's going to touch down here except for a stray wire and my um, negligence so uh, in order to just help give me a little bit of extra protection I have a piece of foam here that will insulate the batteries, wires, anything that I'm working with here from being able to touch this metal shelf and possibly causing a short out. Now, 
Again, I don't recommend this necessarily. I would recommend if you have any discomfort or concerns or anything with power that you are way better insulated than I am here. I spend a lot of time playing with this stuff and I'm extra careful. I've uh, grown up in the automotive industry playing with low voltage uh, DC 12 volt systems essentially since I was you know 13 years old or so. So I am comfortable with this but this is not what I recommend for you. If you have any concern or um, in any way shape or form are not quite as comfortable with this kind of stuff as I am I would highly highly recommend you set yourself up better from the beginning this for me is more than comfortable for anyone else who doesn't have the level of comfort I have I would highly recommend you be uh, much more cautious and careful uh, and I just kind of wanted to throw that caveat out there or that that um, notice I guess so that being said step one is complete battery a positive terminal red wire step two we're going to go ahead and hook up our uh, black terminal to the negative batter or the negative terminal or black wire to the negative terminal on battery b uh, and then step three our final step will be the white wire on the common in the back there now we have positive step one is hooked up to red negative step two is hooked up to black and then our final step is going to be to uh, hook up our white wire to the common back there. Now, I have no idea if this equalizer would cause issues and short out being connected to these two terminals if I accidentally touched it to positive or to negative here. Um, but I don't intend to find out. I don't want to have any issues. So the entire time I've been working, I have had this... Um, I'm guessing it's shrink, ta uh, shrink tube. Um, I've had this over this and made sure it was over here on the foam, not able to touch anything or short out or anything like that. And when you are working with electricity, just be mindful and respectful of what you're working with because you could very easily hurt yourself or someone else or cause a fire or an explosion or something like that if you're negligent and you're not aware of your surroundings or any number of things. So please don't do this in a rush, don't do this in a hurry, and just be mindful and wary of what you're doing. Um, again, I'm 100% comfortable with this stuff. I play with this kind of stuff all the time. So I am carefully and taking my time um, and running my wires where they need to go and I am happy and comfortable with that. So we'll hook up this last step and then I'll show you the battery equalizer uh, working in progress. We're back and um, on the little included diagram here, it gives you um, the, the status lights and tells you what's going on with it. Right here, we see if the LED is off on both of them, then battery A and battery B are equal charge. Uh, if it's flashing on A and off on B, then A um, has a greater current or vice versa. Let's see. Um, I might be misunderstanding how this works because I think, I think that is saying that power is flowing to battery A. Um, and then in this situation, power is flowing to battery B, which I believe is the case. Um, and then in this situation where you have a solid light on, um, it looks like it has the, the low voltage cut off, uh, the low voltage disconnects 10 volts. So I'm going to guess that that is what this has to do with is, um, if both lights are on, both batteries are greater than 10 volts, might be less than 10 volts, but uh, we're just starting to play with this and we'll see. So, long and short of it, um, this battery right here, which I believe is A, it was at 13.46 volts or something, and this one was at like 13.3. Um, so when I connected them, you can see our equalizer right there started flashing for battery B. This battery right here, I believe is B. And we were at, I think 13.3 volts. Um, and I think the, I think it was 13.33. And 
Um, I plugged it in and oh, you can even see it kind of just bouncing back right there, back and forth between 13.3.3 or 3.4 and 13.3.5. So that should be um, balancing right now. That's what that flashing light over here should indicate is that it is taking charge from that battery over there and putting it in this one. Uh, the reason, oh, yep, see, we just hit 3.6. So it is taking and balancing those. Now, this one I believe was 13.4.6 when um, I hooked this up. Maybe it was 4.8, I don't remember. I should have written it down. But either way, the voltage on this one has gone up to 100s. And before I hook this up or, or set it up or do anything with it, I'm going to leave this balancer connected and let it let it just do its thing for a little while uh, and maybe I will start working on my connection point to the grow watt because at this current moment in time I don't know if I have any lugs and I looked this up this was uh, this is uh, four gauge wire so four gauge would be more than enough for the the start of all of our testing because I am not going to be putting any sort of significant load on these things at all. Um, so I'm going to see if I can't locate some lugs so that way we're not just using bare stripped wires. But if we do use bare stripped wires, then we'll just do it for uh, our starting tests and I'll go pick up some lugs um, next time I run out and we'll have this all set up properly. You can see I've got my lugs properly set up in here. Um, and then this is that uh, solar wire that I was pointing out earlier out here in my previous video that is run into the shelf and run over here. So, um, yeah, we're going to let the balancer have at for a little while and uh, we'll come back and see maybe in an hour or two what she looks like and uh, we'll go from there. So it's been a couple hours and we're going to look and see what our progress is on this battery balancer. Let's check it out. Our lights have turned off, which should indicate that we are balanced. So we're gonna start here, battery A. And it looks like we are down to 133435, which is where battery B was. So, let's see, this one come up. So yeah, this balancer, I was looking at it, it's supposed to go and balance to within 0 0.02 volts, so 200 or 20 millivolts. So she looks like she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. So we'll leave her in line. They look balanced, and uh, we can go ahead and take the next step and start setting up the rest of the solar system.